Hola and welcome to part 5 of the Amiga Pi project. As always, links to previous parts are in the description below. This week I've had someone recommend that I try the Hapiga distribution, which is based on the UAE ARM emulator. The interesting thing about this is that once configured, it has the ability to load directly into the Amiga OS. So, let's install and try it. On last week's video, I had a commenter tell me about this um, Hapiga distribution, and uh, he has uh, recommended that I try it, and to be honest, it seems intriguing to me because it goes straight in the workbench. So I've decided to try this. However, I've looked around, and the installation instructions uh, seem to be only in French or German, which I know neither of. Uh, I Google translated uh, German to English, so it's kind of uh, a bit <laughs> I have to kind of go by with this. So this part of it is just how I normally do it, how I normally did last time with the Retro Pi. I just have Amiga Pi Baker, which is just like, which is just like the, you know, the rest image restorer program. And uh, what I can do is just put a memory card in. It's the same thing. This time I'm going to do it on an 8 gig SD card because I'm testing things out. I have a couple of uh, 8 gigabyte SD cards because they, they tend to come with stuff. So what I will get here is my USB adapter so I can just turn it into a flash drive. And we just put that into a USB port and that's it. Okay, so we have the memory card here and it's already been formatted as uh, FAT format. Right, so we select the storage device here and uh, the same as we did with the RetroPie. We look for the uh, the unarchived image file and we just restore backup as before. It does the same thing. Okay, so we have my little Amiga here. We connect the HDMI. Connect the wired mouse. Mouse up and wired USB keyboard. Of course, we change the SD card. That's the one before, this is the one, the one with Hapiga on it. Let me switch the Amiga on. Cool. Let's see how good this works. Oh no, it's in French, okay. I'm gonna have to use my, my Spanish here to kind of get the gist of what, what this is going on about. Preparar la carte. Okay, that's... Oh, prepare the SD card, okay. <laughs> I know I'm not I'm not freaking pronouncing it like French because I cannot understand spoken French. So I'm gonna pronounce it like Spanish so I can get the similarities. <laughs> reboot of Lecat. Okay, so it's basically telling me to reboot. Terminar validar, which is basically okay and cancel. Okay, so... No! None. What did I just do? I don't even know. Did I just cancel what I did? No kickstart. Really? I'm surprised. Okay, um... This doesn't look... <laughs> I know there's no freaking kickstart. Can I please get into the... I have no instructions. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to speak French. I can just about understand the Spanishy parts. But that's about it. And of course, this is what happens when you take the ROM chip out of the Amiga. Oh wait, hold on. No. No. Oh! Okay. Okay. Cool. Something happened here. <laughs> something other than that stupid ZX book from flashy screeny thing. I figured something out by just messing around as usual. Control F9 brings this. Then we take this to quit. And yes, yes. Okay. Can we do pseudo things here? So pseudo raspy config, please. Yay! Okay, expand file system. Fantastic. S uh, set up language. Please, even if you set it to Spanish, I'd be fine. Okay, we've got Arabic. We have Ben, whatever that is. We have Ka, whatever that is. What the freak? I don't know what these mean. D, -E, that's German. E, L, E, N. Okay. Please, why are you telling me this in French? I just set the freaking thing in English. Configuration de locales. D, Nombriux. Okay, I'm so sorry. No offense to French people who watch this. I'm I'm more of a Spanish speaker, so I'm trying to make understand the Spanishy sounding words as much as I can. It gives you all the freaking other options except for the one to enter your network 
I think it's just supposed to work when you plug in your your Ethernet cable. But I want Wi-Fi because I don't have an Ethernet cable right now. I'll try to do the wireless settings within the terminal itself. Okay, so we do that and we get the stupid this. Semi control F9, quit, and we should get the command line. Okay, I'm a noob. If I get this wrong, please forgive me because command line, mathematics, programming, all this stuff is my weak point. I'm good with practical things and hardware. So sudo, nano, etc. Network interfaces. These work. Okay, what's going on here? Sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash wp oops, wpa underscore stop a can underscore wpa underscore stop again okay? Um, dot com. So this, I'm taking it's a configuration file, which seems to be non freaking existent. You stupid freak! I've written applicant. That's why it's freak. It doesn't come up. Stop looking. There. Now we have it. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you will see this part. All you need to do is put your SSID here. Put your passkey here. I guess I'll just done sudo reboot after saving that config file. Now as you can see here, the happy is showing up, which means you can access it, you can add files to it. Yes, I'm happy. I can test this thing properly now. <laughs> okay, so connect to this guest. There you go, you can go inside the folder. And wow, you can put all these stuff inside here. Let's put a Kickstarter ramen. Okay, why am I doing all this freaking thing on here? Let's just switch you to the screen. Okay, so we are now on Apiga here, uh, as in we can access Apiga. Uh, so we go inside, we can put the kickstarts in. So let me go and find mine. I'm all excited now, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> okay, we are in my emulation folder. Okay, so we have, let's just put these three in here, just to keep it simple. Hold on a second. Let's add some ADF. Okay, so... Mr. Dude here, who recommended uh, this Happy Happy Good Distribution, wanted me to try out. Uh, I think he's got his own channel, by the way. It's a gaming channel. Oh, he's into Minecraft. Cool. He wanted me to try R Type 2 on uh, Raspberry Pi 3. He's only got the 2 1. So let's put that in amongst the other things which I want to try, including my hard drive. And I will try some of my games here too. Try these two. And a friend of mine on his channel was recently up uploading a uh, gameplay of James Bond, so let's go let's go into James Bond too and try the Robocod. Just to bring back some memories. <laughs> okay, that's that's enough of the ADF files now, so I'm just gonna go crazy. No! Typing on the wrong keyboard. Okay. Hard drives. I'm gonna see how my hard drive works. Okay, this is the one which let's copy this and I will just speed this up. Ooh, I regret starting this copying process. The reason why I think this is taking so long is because the, it's not just like one big file, it's just lots and lots of tiny, tiny little freaking files, and that always <laughs> takes so freaking long. It's just like three hours here. Anyway, I got it working this far, so... The thing is, this this documentation, which is in German, <laughs> explaining a system which is in French is like thrashing my head, but that's besides the point. What I mean to say, I didn't even do this stuff. You know, I kind of just... I mean, it has these... Where is it? Ah, over here. Okay, the first start. It's talking about either a hanging network or set up a, set up a home network with a PC. I don't know. I don't know what this is This is about, this putty duel and all this. I've, well, I haven't even done it at all. Let's hope I don't need to. There's a section around here that says, how the freak do I get all this stuff on it? Where is it? Ah, here. How the hell do I get kick rom and games and this thing? Freaking Google Translate. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, that's the weird thing. If it's Wi-Fi, if you have Wi-Fi, you need to enter your details and it doesn't give you the option for that. With Pi 3, of course, you have built-in. How I did it basically is just like I edited the config file from the you know terminal and um, 
I put my Wi-Fi details inside here, inside there, and saved it. So it's just straight away picked up my Wi-Fi details and it all works. I think I've basically done everything that needs to be done. It, it's less tedious than I thought it was going to be. This thing is still copying and apparently it's going to take two hours. So I'm just going to like take a chill pill and the next I'll see you. I'm not going to film all this and speed it up. I was tempted to do that, but it's taking longer than I thought. So <laughs> I'm going to cut to the chase. The next you're going to see will be on Habiga with my stuff on and I'll be configuring that and configure the Amiga, making config files and seeing if things work. Okay, we switched the Amiga on after it's copied all that stuff. Well, this is gonna say no king st king king star king star. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I created a new configuration file. That's good. I'm glad I can do that. It hurts. Um... Let's keep it as it is now. Okay, that's fine. I have no idea if I can allow, if I can add joysticks or not, because I'm not understanding these th these thingies. Hey, what's going on here exactly? Let's just try. Let's just save this and try it anyway. Save, reset. Super high resolution resolution requested, not supported and Okay. <laughs> okay. This is clearly freaking too much for it. So it's not supported here. Okay, let's forget that for now. Let's try the freaking games. Okay, so let's save this configuration. And works. Oh my god, I remember this music. <gasps> my god, my joystick works! Let me get the sound coming um, instead of through the HDMI, through my speakers, because the freaking speakers on the screen are freaking cuck. Pseudo raspy. I know it was around you. Ah, there it is. Cross audio through HDMI or through, okay. <laughs> I haven't played this since I was 10. <laughs> oh wow. Feels like I'm gonna, like visiting an old house or something that I haven't seen for like ages. Dude's game. See how it works. R type two. I don't know. I've never tried this on Raspberry Pi two, so I don't know if it's like how slow it is. Apparently, it's slow and it's not so good. But so far, I'm I'm liking it. Okay, I need to switch auto fire on. It's working fine. Actually, what I used to play instead of this was Menace. It's like a similar kind of game. You stupid freaking fishy thing. Oh, 
Oh, this part's a bit slow. Just try frame skip, see if it's playable. I put frame skip on, I mean it looks fine. Let's see what happens when I get to that part. Okay, it's more playable. Dude, with frame skip on, it's playable. <laughs> and you can't notice the frame skip. Oh, free! I suck at this game. <laughs> opinion putting frame skip on makes this game playable I mean it is slow without it as in you know when you get to that background part but it seems fine it seems playable I just need to kind of you know mess around with the hard drive part of it because because this actually setup is better than the UAE for for all instead of UAE just for, this is UAE for arm so I'm actually happy with this, uh, if I can kind of get this working, and this is kind of cool, you know, I'm glad I came across this, this, um, happy good thing, because it's, it seems good. I would like to say thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your comments. Also, if you want to see the other parts of this series, you can see them in the description below. Next week will probably be the last video on this series, and uh, starting a next one, of course. So, for now, I say adios! <laughs>